Okay, my, uh, my bike should be doing uh, two things for the moment. Uh, I have it in the garage uh, charging up. Uh, the other thing I'm doing is uh, I have a script running on my phone as well. I hope it's still running. And that's to find out. Yep, still running strong. Wait, I'll show it. So this is the um, the iOS version of the app that I made and these are the values that you receive already if you get that app from the App Store. So um, the cell balances there, uh, state of charge, battery voltage, charge power, battery temperature and sock. Okay, wait, before I continue, I recently made a uh, quick keynote to explain how this uh, Energica Bluetooth Low Energy Connection works, how I got it reverse engineered and well just the basics, there is still some code involved but just a quick overview because I did release the um, code itself but I never really explained what it did so that keynote I'll put a link in the description explains that the app that I'm using here is not using that connection with the bike directly for the app that I'm using here I have an uh, OBD2 dongle connected to my bike, so you do need some extra hardware other than your phone. And um, yeah, for that one I also have a keynote, but that one is incomplete because as you can see in this video I don't have everything decoded yet, but also a link into the description below this video. I also have a, yeah, if you get the app and you want to, to unlock the tricky things, if you make the connection with that button and then long press the live text there, then you get those extra options and those allow for showing decimal output as well, raw output values like it's showing right here. And also you can uh, scan a range of addresses. And I'm currently at 503 I think I saw there, yeah 503. So I'm halfway there, 505, but that's not a valid one. So if it responds with no data then it's not a non-valid one. Uh, I have like uh, maybe 10 addresses that I know that uh, get value and are, uh, values back and from those 10 addresses I have like 3 that are fully decoded. So lots of more to discover. I also know that um, I have a range set up from 100 to 899 because I discovered that 902 for instance would result and a response of 102, so it rolled back at 900. Uh, but I'll, I'll let it, um, I'll let it continue here while it's charging in the cold situation, and then uh, do my highway run. And when I get back to it, we'll see. I also have the cases. I'll put some. Uh, I have the two now mounted, so that's one, and the other one on the other side. But I'll, I'll if I. Yeah, I'll try to make some footage somewhere in, on the road. Yeah, sorry, I think I flipped it on off right now. That wasn't my intention. Anyway, that's how they look. It's just hard mounted on the original Energy Car X. Um, I don't. Oh yeah, I have my charge cable and my. Yeah, that's what I do, by the way, if I go on the road for a longer period and I need... Uh, I, I'm not convinced that I will find the charger here. I have this Type 2 plug with a, a 22 Shuko, this one. So that's just the regular European uh, household socket so that I can charge. And if someone wants to help me out, I can charge or even camping spots and so on. And this thing is an adapter to go from type 2 to Shuko. So if I connect this one to there, I can also charge from um, AC uh, public chargers that have no charge cord with the same uh, charge uh, cord that I have here. So that's my fix everything solution. Of course, that's all. Uh, for the uh, Zero I had a, a, a separate cable, I didn't use that um, adapter because that adapter is limited to 16 amps uh, which is barely 3 kilowatts which is the limit of this pipe when you charge AC. 
529 already. What was the delay I've put in? I think it uh, pulls every 4 seconds or so. So do the math for uh, for 800 positions, 4 seconds. Let me know in the comments.